Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do another one of the new Tesco beers that I managed to pick up. Um, I'm going to do the Salt release, the new offering from Salt. And it's their big hooker back. Now this is available in some supermarkets in a 330 mil can. But obviously Tesco's have got it in a 440 and I also think it's available in a, in a four pack. <coughs> I think because some of the new releases from Tesco's are 440 mil cans in four packs. There's Lost Cosmonauts, there's the one of the vocation ones, I can't remember which one it is, the new the new vocation one. Um and I think there's this one as well. So there it is, hook back. It is a 5.5% uh, New England IPA. Um, I love salt beers, they do really, really good. I um, label again, this has got that raised hexagons, which I quite like. It just gives the, the can a little, well, it gives you a little bit of grip on the can. Um, best before on this one is December 21, I think it is. Baking out there, it's actually printed across the bottom. I think it's December 21, it looks like it. Right, without further ado, let's pop it off and let's see what we've got. Now, again, this will join just, just this will join the ranks of a um, cat as a 440 mil can. But every supermarket seems <coughs> seems to have salt beers in, except for Asda. Um, there's just all kinds. Pillars, Morrison's have got loads. Sainsbury's have got a few. Asda have got a few. Anyway, they're Mazda. Tesco obviously have got, have got a few. So being a glass, what have we got? We've got ourselves a orangey, hazy, yellowy looking beer. We've got one finger of bright Daz white head, density compact bubbles. That looks absolutely delicious. Looks like a New England IPA. Let's see what it, goes. Let's see what it smells like. Let's go for it. Mm. There are a lot of stone fruit, peachy, apricotty. Maybe a little a little hint of mango, a little hint of lemon on the back. No, I'd say lemon and citrus. That smells quite nice. Does smell good. Let's go for it. Body carb. Light bodied. Light carbonation. I've got it's not a bad that's not a bad beer. It's got a nice feel to it for five point five percent. Let's go for the big taste. Cheers. Peaches, stone fruit, a um, little hint of lemon on the back end, a little bit, a light dry finish. It's pulling moisture out of my mouth. It's very nice, very nice indeed. <coughs> Good. When you get into it, it does go a little bit earthy as well. So, as I say, you've got the stone fruity stuff, stone fruitiness, a little touch of earthy mineral, then it goes into it, into this light bitter finish. Would I say it was a New England IPA? Probably not. Um, but they say there is, so happy days. Um, and it's nice, it's very nice. I can session this quite happily. It's just another, another good, solid offering from Salt. It really is. Yeah, works for me. Ticks boxes. So, Salt, Hooker Back at New England IPA, 5.5%. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? No. I think it's better <coughs> salt beers out there. Double a cat straight away. Um, alpaca, um, which I think is in Morrison's actually, but alpaca I think is a better beer than this. Um, 
So there's two straight away. I would I recommend this to friends? Absolutely, I would. Of course, I would. You know, it's 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 good. It's a good beer. I just think there's better out there than this. So if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. We'll put a link to the salt website also below. Thumbs up at the video, thumbs up if you don't subscribe in that bottom corner down there, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe. Hey, Dale.